Well, the hot weather we've been having is most likely doing a number on your lawn. Fox Connecticut's Jen Bernstein spent the day with a lawn care service to see what they're doing to keep their customers' grass growing green. All summer long, you've been working to make your lawn look like one of the best on the block. But a lot of those long hours might have gotten thrown out the window because of the recent excessive sun and heat. It feels like hay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's crunchy. It feels like hay. The humidity paired with no rain is leaving many people's lawns parched. We worked so hard to try to keep, keep it going all year with fertilizers, and, and now... It's just dying out. If I go pull a soil sample right here, you'll see how, how dry, just basically, you know, just dust. The summer is busy season for lawn care services. And in this heat wave, they're working hard. Mainly what we're seeing out there right now is, uh, you know, a lot of drought conditions uh, caused by, obviously, lack of rainfall and this, you know, extremely high record-breaking heat. Gary Donovan, the owner of Turf Master, says it's all about hydration. Your lawn is likely to need more water than it normally does to keep it lush and green. Generally speaking, lawns should be watered every other day, an hour per area. The best time to water, in the morning, because it cools grass down for the day ahead. The heat and dry spell can also rev up some of your lawn's worst enemies, which is why fertilizer is essential. Chinch bugs, side webworms, namely, uh, grubs later on in the season could be detrimental to the lawns. One of the biggest mistakes homeowners make is cutting their grass too short. Leaving it at least three inches allows protection from the sun and helps the soil retain water. People kind of get used to a golf course thinking that the lawns should be mowed real tight and real short. Just the opposite is true. Remember, the hotter it is, the higher you mow. And while rain is in the forecast this weekend, if your lawn is already brown, you have more work ahead of you. You would need a good three weeks of, you know, continual watering to bring color back into that lawn. Is it prickly, Ken? Yes. In South Windsor, Jen Bernstein, Fox, Connecticut.